Hello, this is Mario from Fortools.com. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the iMatch Web Viewer application to browse iMatch databases remotely using your web browser. To use iMatch Web Viewer and to access iMatch databases remotely, you need a PC which runs iMatch Anywhere and the iMatch Web Viewer application. This enables you to browse iMatch databases on any device using only a web browser. To use the web viewer to browse your databases, you first need the URL of the web viewer. If you have installed iMatch anywhere on your PC, you can just uh, start the controller application and click on the link. Otherwise, please request the URL from your administrator. In this case, I just click on the link to open the web viewer application in my default web browser. There it is. It's a good idea to create a bookmark so you can access it directly the next time. Let's have a look around. Image Web Viewer is divided into three major sections. We have the menu bar on top, we have the navigator on the left side, and we have the file window on the right side. In the file window you see the files you have selected in the navigator. The navigator is the part of iMatch Web Viewer where you select the files you want to see in the file window. You can select files by a wide range of criteria like rating and label, metadata, you can search the entire database using file names or metadata or image attributes. You can use categories, folders of course, you can use collections and timeline. We talk about each of these uh, navigator panels in just a few minutes. To show you the principal workflow in iMatch Web Viewer, I'm now going to select a folder and look at the files in that folder. To do this, you open the folders panel in the navigator. Let me just make this a bit wider. Here you see all the folders in your database. This is basically very similar to the media and folders view you have in iMatch. Um, well, why not? Colors. Now I have selected the folder colors in the navigator and the file window displays all files in that folder. When I deselect this folder and select another folder, say this one, the file window updates to show the files in that folder. If I select the other folder in addition, I see the files in both folders. Let's look at some of the more advanced features of the file window. In this case I have selected a folder which contains 12 images. The number of files currently displayed in the file window is displayed in the menu bar at the top. With this button I can switch between different file window layouts. This layout shows larger images. This layout shows the image and the file name. Title and Description and XMP Rating and Label. The same in a more compact format. This layout displays only the keywords assigned to each image and the rating and the label. This layout displays common photo information like the lens, ISO speed, uh, uh, aperture and, and stuff. File window layouts give you choices. You can just look at thumbnails, you can display the file name or the titles and descriptions or the keywords or you can display technical camera data uh, by just choosing one of the file window layouts supplied with iMatch Web Viewer. Let's look at some of the other file window layouts. There is one file window layout for animated GIF files which actually plays them. There's one file window layout for mp3 files, which 
which contains an embedded player. And there is a file window layout for video files. which supports all video formats supported by HTML, including a full screen mode and all the other controls available in your browser. Let me demonstrate the search function available in the folder panel. To find a folder, I just start typing its name. To see the contents of the folders in the result, I just click on the checkbox in front of them. To reset the search, I click on this button. The folders stays selected. To reset the selection in the folder panel and to clear the file window, I click on this button. You can select any number of folders. If more than one folder is selected, the file window combines the files of all selected folders. For example, I select this folder and this folder. Now the file window shows files of both folders combined. In the caption bar of the folder panel, I can see the number of folders currently selected. Now it's two. Now it's three. To reset the selection, meaning unselect all folders, I click on the X. I can make iMatch remember a selection by first making a selection. For example, in this case, I select these photos. And then opening the stored settings panel and storing this selection under a name. In this case, when I now uncheck the selection, I can retrieve it anytime by just clicking on this link, which is much faster than finding the folder in the uh, folders panel. Another example, I select these two folders store them under a name. Now I can switch between these two selections by just clicking on the link. Let's have a look at another file window layout. I start by loading a selection. And then switching the file window layout to the map view. This displays an open street map in this case with all files currently selected in the navigator. To see all files selected in the navigator on the map, I zoom out and then zoom in to see the individual place marks. When I click on the place mark, Image Web View opens a pop-up with additional information. It displays the file name, the title, the description, and the location data. With this button, I can display the file name, and with this button, I can display the actual image. This place mark is special because it shows a number. This means that two photos have been taken in the same location. To see the photos, I click the place mark and then use these buttons to navigate between the photos taken at this spot. The map view in iMatch Web Viewer is not limited to OpenStreetMap. It also supports Bing Maps and Google Maps. To switch to another map type, pick the map type from this drop-down menu.
Let us review what we have learned so far. iMage Web Viewer enables you to access iMage databases using only a web browser from any device and operating system. To open iMage Web Viewer, you enter the URL of iMage Web Services into the address bar of your browser. The iMage Web Viewer user interface is divided into three sections Menu Bar, Navigator, and File Window. You select the files you want to see in the Navigator on the left. The file window on the right then displays these files. Selections made in the navigator can be saved for quick access, so you can recall them at any time using the links shown in the stored settings panel. The file window supports multiple layouts. Each layout offers a different view on your files. The next video explains all navigator panels in detail. It shows you how to use the navigator to find any file in your iMatch database in seconds.